guys. I wanted to start a short series on my favorite bars, like protein bars, snack bars. I'll be separating them into different segments. Today we'll be talking about plant-based protein bars. Next time I'll do whey protein bars and then following would be snack bars. The thing is they're good to have in between meals, like between lunch and dinner when you're feeling a little bit hungry. They're easy to carry around, so in your purse or your gym bag. So the thing is you can get them in various sports stores, Just Green, Green Commons in Hong Kong, but they're quite expensive. As I mentioned in my iHerb haul previously, I'll link that in the description box below. You can buy them in boxes of 12 and generally they're quite cheap. The thing is you really have to make sure you like the flavor or you like the brand, otherwise you'll end up with 12 bars that you don't know what to do with them, give them away. So I have tried a lot of bars before in the past. I thought I would share my reviews with you guys just so you can order the yummy ones and stay away from the not so yummy ones. Let's get started. So the first one I have here is from Health Lab. So I think they're an Australian brand. Um, I know they do a collaboration with Sarah's Day, so she makes her own line as well. Um, but basically it has dates, coconut, cashew, pea protein, coconut oil, water, sea salt, natural caramel flavor. So very, very good ingredients. Um, this ball is 496 kilojoules. I don't know how many calories that is, but I think it's roughly 100 something. Um, five grams of protein, so definitely not as much as a regular whey protein bar. The thing with plant-based and whey protein bars, plant-based, they don't tend to taste as good. They're they're usually more chalky, they usually don't have as much protein, but for people like me who can't really digest whey very well, like I get bloated, my stomach expands so much that it hurts, and the next day sometimes I'll get a stomach ache, so I, I usually stick with um, plant-based protein bars. So yeah, let's give this a try. So it looks like this. Basically looks like a huge energy ball. Um, Quite messy. It's a little dry. <laughs> mm. A little. So I think it just tastes like a lot of shredded coconut and some dates blended together. Um, the protein wise, it's not actually that powdery, it's not too sweet as well, which I like. For me, the texture is a bit, it's not like it's powdery, it's not chewy. It's in between like a protein ball and a cake pipe, uh, pipe. cake bite, so it's, yeah. <laughs> I think um, out of five, I'll give this maybe like a... 2.5 to a 3. Sorry, it's not, not my favorite, but I know a lot of people who like it as well, which was why when I saw it at the store, I wanted to try it Okay, out. so the next one is Sprouted Grow Raw Protein Bar in mint chocolate flavor. So this one has 12 grams of protein, so definitely more than the one just now. Um, very good ingredients as well. So sprouted watermelon seeds, dates, cacao, chocolate extract, vanilla extract, mint extract, sea salt, rosemary extract. Um, 240 calories and yeah 12 grams of protein so I think the protein here comes from the seeds um, let's see it looks looks quite similar to the one just now I guess they just look like a date ball but made into different shapes it smells very minty I don't know They taste the same, similar. This is chocolate mint, but texture-wise, I think this is slightly more chewy, not as dry for sure, but yeah, it tastes, I usually like my protein bars to have some like chocolate chips or crisp to add more texture to it. So those two bars kind of just have a uniform texture throughout, which I don't really like too much. But yeah, it makes it not as exciting to eat. That I would give it, again, 2.5 out of five. Sorry, I'm not trying to be too harsh or anything, but ingredients-wise, they're both very, very good. They don't have a lot of ingredients that you can't pronounce, so everything, you know exactly what it is. But in okay, next up would be this one. This is the Raw Rev Glow Double Chocolate Brownie Batter. So this one also has 12 grams of protein, 14 grams of fiber, and only 4 grams of sugar. So, 
It has super food blend, so raw cashews, pea protein, brown rice protein, coconut oil, chia seeds, flax seeds, dark chocolate, prebiotic fiber. So still pretty good ingredients. Um, I actually quite like this one. The bar itself is quite small. Um, okay, so looks wise, it kind of looks the same as the one just now, but I remember this being quite good. If I can show you. So this has like chocolate inside, which I think this is why I like it. And it's chewy. So the chocolate chips are quite big and because Hong Kong is quite hot right now, they're like half melted. You can't really see but the chocolate chips like here. And it's quite yummy, like um As you're biting into the bar, you'll get melted chocolate chips inside as well. So it just tastes like a really dark chocolate brownie, but you know it's healthy. It doesn't feel very heavy or buttery. It's quite light, but it's still quite chocolatey, which I like. Hmm. This one. I'll give it 3.5. No. 4 out of 5, I think, this one. Sorry, I forgot to mention that this has 170 calories. So next would be this Sun Warrior So Good Protein Bar in Blueberry Blast flavor. 212 calories with... Sorry. 212 calories, 17 grams of protein, 7 grams of sugar, 16 grams of fiber. Made from a prebiotic fiber blend, Sun Warrior Protein Blend, which includes brown rice, pea protein, quinoa protein. Sunflower, butter, blueberries, grape juice, blueberry, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Tocopherol, so vitamin E, xanthan gum, I guess to hold it together. Locust bean gum, and then cinnamon, Madagascar cinnamon, sorry. Ancient sea salt, vanilla bean. So I guess ingredients wise, this is still very good. The ones so far um, are quite natural in terms of the ingredients, so let's see. Okay. You can kind of see the blueberry embedded inside. Okay, I've had Sun Warrior protein before and it tends to be quite chalky. Like I've tried ordering the box of protein that I can put in my smoothies. So I don't know if this is going to be chalky as well. So I'm trying to decide if I like it or not. <laughs> mm. It's quite interesting. So you get a bit of like the dried blueberries, you get a little bit of crisp in between. It's not actually that powdery. For 17 grams of protein, I think it's quite decent. Or like a plant-based protein bar at least. The blueberry flavor is flip. The blueberry flavor is not too fake. You know, you get this really artificial like fruit flavor sometimes. So this one's not really like that. It tastes a little bit like a blueberry muffin. I actually don't mind this one. I prefer this over the salted caramel one, the first one that I tried. I think I'll give this a 3 out of 5. So the remaining ones I know I like, <laughs> which is good. Let's talk about this Pro Bar first. So this one is quite a common one. You see it a lot in Hong Kong. I know City Super sells them as well. This whole thing is 280 calories, so definitely higher than the rest. 20 grams of protein, 17 grams of sugar, and 4 grams of fiber. So this one, the ingredients isn't as clean. It has soy protein isolate, tapioca syrup, agave syrup, cane syrup, palm kernel, oil, glycerin, agave, insulin, um, chocolate, omega blend, which is flaxseed and chia seed, safflower, oil, cacao, sorry, cocoa, tapioca starch, soy lecithin, rosemary extract. I mean, not the worst, not the greatest, but if you're having this once in a while and you're still supplementing it with healthy meals, I don't see a problem with treating yourself to a protein bar once in a while. Because, I mean, if you find one that you like, in addition to it being a snack, it's also more of like a treat to yourself. A lot of the ones that I enjoy, they taste like chocolate bars to me, so I do enjoy eating them. This one looks more like a chocolate bar. 
and then the inside looks like this. So different layers, it has a crispy layer and then like a, I guess the protein layer. Mm. Tastes like chocolate bar. So I've had a lot of the flavors. They do a cookie dough, peanut butter chocolate, a double chocolate. They do a super greens one. So all of the flavors tend to be quite good. The chocolate peanut butter one is quite good as well. This one, I like the crispy things on the bottom. And then the chocolate covering, of course. Who doesn't like chocolate? Not too dry as well. So that's good. Hmm. This will probably be 4.5 out of 5. Because it really does taste like a candy bar. And yeah. Very, very enjoyable. Next is this new Go Chocolate Chocolate Chip. Chocolate Chocolate Chip. 200 calories, 10 grams of protein, 14 grams of sugar. But definitely not as much protein um, for the calories, but saw some reviews before saying that this one is coated with real chocolate, like real dark chocolate, which is good. It has non-GMO soy crisp, non-GMO chocolate rice crisp, tapioca syrup, agave, rice bran, soy lecithin, cassia. Don't know if I'm saying that right. And natural flavor. Not too bad ingredients, it's just basically crispies surrounded by chocolate. I've had this before as well and it does taste good. So you can tell it's quite nice, the chocolate. Don't know if you can see. But yeah. It's like Rice crispy, coated in dark chocolate. So yeah, it's just essentially a lot of Rice crispy balls glued together. This one tastes exactly like a chocolate bar. So this one I would give 4.5 out of 5. I'll eat that later. The next one I'll talk about them together because they're the same brand, just different flavors. Um, square bars. Me and my friend went through a big phase of these. They're really, really good. This is the chocolate coated almond spice, and this is chocolate coated cookie dough. They do a lot of other flavors that I like as well, like a double chocolate, mint chocolate, nuts and sea salt. So a lot of different flavors. This one is 220 calories, 12 grams of protein, 13 grams of sugar. If I remember correctly, the ingredients are not bad as well. So coconut nectar, brown rice protein, dark chocolate, cane sugar, coconut oil, oats, organic almonds, cocoa liquor, cinnamon, sunflower, lecithin. Again, brown rice protein. For those who don't like soy, I know some people have an issue against soy. So some of the pro bars and stuff might not be your thing, but this one is brown rice. Should be better. It's exactly like a square, so hence the name square bar. Oops, it broke. Mine broke. So the inside is like this. When I first had this actually, I thought it was a bit powdery, but the more I ate it, the more I got used to the texture. You kind of have to have an open mind when you're having these plant-based protein bars. You can't expect it to taste like exactly like a chocolate bar. You know, with a little bit of imagination, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Get some chunks of oats sometimes. Um, this texture, it's a bit like, hmm. It also like half melts into your mouth when you're eating it. Just very smooth and silky. And I'll show you this one too. Because different flavors, they sometimes have a different texture. So again, the outside looks the same. Okay, no, I'm kidding. The inside looks the same. But if I remember, the, the taste was a little different. This one's a little more chewy. For these two square bars, I think I'll give them 3.5 to a 4. So last but not least is this Cliff Builders Protein Bar. I know my friend Susanna orders this for her boyfriend a lot. Um, he really likes it too, but he doesn't just purely stick to plant-based protein. I got this in the crunchy peanut butter flavor, but I also like the cookies and cream. I like the vanilla almond, chocolate peanut butter, and double chocolate. I think I just named all other flavors. Ingredients, I don't think this one's as clean as some of the other ones though. Again. 280 calories, similar to the Pro Bar. 20 grams of protein, 22 grams sugar, and 2 grams fiber. So it has soy protein isolate again. Beet syrup, brown rice syrup, dried cane syrup, palm kernel oil, peanut butter, organic fiber, natural flavor, glycerin, peanuts, soy flour, rice starch, peanut flour, oil, to cough rolls again. So I guess not the worst. Ooh, this is pretty. This one's white. So I guess it's like a white chocolate coated. The other ones that I mentioned are chocolate coated, if I if I remember correctly. Except for the vanilla almond. That's the inside. It's quite 
similar to the Pro Bar in terms of the layers. So they have like a crispy layer and then like a protein layer and chocolate coated. I think I would give this one a 4.5 as well. Um, in terms of texture, this one is slightly more chewy compared to the Pro Bar. If you like chewy bars, this one is more your thing. Yeah, it does taste like a caramelized candy bar sometimes as well. That's it for today. I hope you guys found this video useful, informative. Yeah, just because I know back then when I was ordering my bars, I would do a lot of research beforehand as well. So I would search on Google, try to read up on some blogs to see if people found it yummy or not. Go to bodybuilding.com. If there were YouTube videos, I would watch them as well. At the end of the day, you kind of have to get a taste for yourself. Don't know how much this would help, but... Who knows? If you have any questions, just leave them down below. I'll try to answer as fast as possible. If you have any suggestions or bars that you want me to review for the next videos, feel free to tell me as well. I'll try to include that. Don't worry about the unfinished bars. I'll just put them in a container. I'll eat them afterwards. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.